E-doping is any way that someone can exploit a weakness in the current virtual cycling setup. Technical regulation on the performance has lagged behind the market, and that introduces uncertainty and security concerns. The technology that we're developing is rein that back in to establish standards to make sure the competitions can remain fair. I actually met Dr. Monson in a freshman seminar class. I've always been a competitive athlete by passion and uh, gotten into cycling and, and triathlon in college. So I was really interested in his experience. He told me about the work he's done for the Olympics and different sports federations. Was able to join the lab as an undergraduate doing some development work for the, the test rig and the operating program. And then I've graduated and was able to continue both my involvement in this project and then also working on building up Purdue's sports engineering capabilities for the future. Some of the big challenges that virtual cycling has to become well known and is accepted in the cycling community is, you know, trying to get past that barrier of e-doping and, and actually legitimizing the sport. A lot of people that come into it try to compare it to outdoor cycling, whether that's racing or just riding, and it's not the same. And then there's also the cheating aspect. If you say you're 150 pounds when you're 170, that's going to give you an advantage that you can't do outside. I race quite a bit and I see a lot of people cheating. They do a live stream every week and they sort of follow different riders that are in the group and so they picked this guy that went off the front in the last mile or so of the race just the way he was riding is not normal and even the commentators picked it out like, he's yeah, redoubling he's now we're talking about around 600 meters to the finish line it just doesn't look right as it moves into more professional or even potentially like olympic level you have to make sure the competition is fair to get to that final event. The impacts of this research are going to go well beyond just limited to virtual cycling. This is a really good example of understanding the role that technology plays in a specific sport. Uh, digital technology is making its way into every sport. And I see this as kind of a, a front where other sports can take note of how to properly integrate digital technologies into their performance to be able to connect people that would never have been able to connect before.